Now, the results which you are currently seeing are from Pixverse.ai. Now, Pixverse was actually quite recently updated to the latest version 3.0, and it has actually some really cool features. Like with this platform, you can create AI videos, which look absolutely insane. However, one simple drawback is that with every single generated video, you will also, for example, here see this watermark at the bottom right. So yeah, this is the only drawback. And now let me just show you how you can create amazing videos as well as amazing images on this platform. But before I show you that, make sure that you click on the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, before you go to this platform, make sure that you create an account for it. And the easiest way to sign up is actually using just Google account. It's the easiest way. Just pause this video and go to this link, which I will put in the video description. And if you guys haven't already, make sure that you smash up the like button below this video. Now, once you are here on the first page, you will see here this cover page. And here you will pretty much see what other people are actually creating, like videos and uh, every single option here looks absolutely stunning. If you take a look, at, for example, at this deer here, we can see which prompt was used here and also the details. So for example, we have here model, we also have the duration, aspect ratio and other stuff as well. Now, if you want, you can also upscale this video, you can also download it, and you can also use really cool feature called lip sync. So for example, if you have the voiceover, you can also put the lip sync on and it will change the video as you are actually talking. And this is really cool. Now here below, we also have the create page and uh, here down below, once more, we have the assets. And then down below, we also can favorite your videos and the other videos and images as well. Overall, I think that this platform is absolutely fantastic. Now, one thing is as well here, that on the right here, you will see that the, how many of the credits you have. Now you can see here that the daily credits are 30. So every single day, this will be restored or it will be added 30 credits to your account. However, you can also upgrade if you want to, to many other premium models like premium model, which is $48 per month. And here you can see what benefits you actually get like daily renew credits, which is 30 monthly renew credits, which is 15,000 and remove watermarks on general generated videos. I think that this option here is the reason to upgrade to the paid version. For example, even to the standard, this also removes the watermark from the video. Now with a basic, you are only getting initial credits, which is 90 and also daily renew credits, which is 30. Now with that out of the way, let's go here to the home and let's create a simple image. First of all, now here you can see my previous creations and down below you have this simple prompt window. And you can also, if you want to replicate, let's say an image from other platform or from this platform as well, you can simply upload the image to this platform. Now here down below you have the model. I highly suggest that you guys use the version 3.0. Then you can also add the effect, which you can see here right now. For example, you can create the We Are Venom effect or Hulk and many others as well, like the Iron Man. And then we have the style, which you can see here, anime, 3D animation and clay. And then we have here duration of the video, which is five seconds and eight seconds. But here's the warning, because if you click here on eight seconds, you can see here that this will take 60 of the lightnings compared to only five seconds, which will take only 30 lightnings. So keep in mind that you have to use five seconds for lower lightning cost. Then we also have the mode here. So you can pretty much pick turbo or the quality. And that actually doesn't change the lightnings spend. And here you also have the aspect ratio like 16 by 9, 9 by 16, 1 to 1, 4 by 3 and 3 by 4. So make sure that you change this aspect ratio based on the content you are actually creating. And then we have here the motion mode, which is currently set to normal, but you can also put this to performance if you want to for some reason. And then we also have the character. So for example, if you have your own character created, you can simply upload it to this platform as well. And now this is pretty much it, the explanation of the settings. And right now let's create a simple image. Now for the inspiration, I will go to this platform, which is called Leonardo.ai, where you can also 
copy the prompt. And I think that this image looks okay. I will just copy the prompt just like so. And we can go here back to the Pixverse. Here, I will just upload the prompt here. And for the effect, I will leave it as it is. So without the actual effect. And then we have here the style. I will go with the 3D animation. Then for the duration, I will go with five seconds. And for the mode, I will go with the quality. For the aspect ratio, 16 by nine is okay for me. And that is pretty much it. I will click here on create and hopefully right now pixverse.ai will come up with something very, very useful. And hopefully, it won't take actually very long time to generate. So as you can see, this is generating quite quickly right now. We also have this progress bar here and the video is actually doing quite okay and it's doing it quite fast nevertheless. And now here we have our video. Now this video is five seconds long and I think, oh my gosh, it looks absolutely fantastic for the AI video. So here we have the French Bulldog. I think it looks very, very realistic. And then we also have here this circle which can float on the water. And I think it looks very, very nice nevertheless. Now, one thing which I will also try here is to input the image as well as the prompt. And let's see what will happen then. So here I'll go back to the Leonardo.ai. And as you can see here, I will choose another image or another prompt for the next video. So maybe we could go, maybe we could go with this one right here. And I will just download the image from this website and I'll copy the details as well. So the prompt. Now let's go back to Pixverse and here I will go back to the creation tab, which is right here. I will paste this right here and I will just change the aspect ratio to 9 by 16. Now for the image, I will upload the image which I got from the Leonardo.ai. If you guys haven't really signed up for the Leonardo.ai, I highly recommend it. So make sure that you use the link in the video description below. And also don't forget to like the video, by the way. And now we have here this prompt as well as the image. And hopefully the video itself will look much, much more similar to the original image. I will leave this preset to the quality and let's see what will happen right now. Now here we already have the video. I think it looks very, very similar to this original image, except of the, of course, the animation as well as the 3D animation style. And overall, I think it's very, very, very nice. And as I said before, if you want to remove this watermark at the top right, you have to unfortunately pay for premium version. However, it's not that expensive. And I think it's totally, totally worth it. Now, if you want to use this tool, I highly, highly recommend it. And I will leave a link for pixverse.ai in the video description below. Now, with that said, this is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure that you drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel as well. And with that said, have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you all around in the next video. Peace.